standing here uh, in Griffin's Woods, what we now call Griffin's Woods, on the Gaines's Mill Battlefield, the big battle of the seven days from June 27 of 1862. We're on top of the ridge in the, the woods, which were historically like this, defended by the Union Fifth Corps. Uh, George Meade's brigade was up here. Uh, Taylor's New Jersey brigade was up here. Griffin's brigade was up here at different times. And uh, these thick woods really assisted the Union defenders uh, in protecting the integrity of the Union line. Now, right now, I'm standing next to what in all likelihood is an excavated grave. When the battle ended, Union V Corps retreated under cover of darkness across the Chickahominy River. They had no opportunity to carry away their dead. And so uh, the Confederates, victors of the field, possessors of the field, uh, did the burying, not very carefully by most accounts. Uh, and in 1866, four years after the battle, uh, work crews from the United States government came and dug up all of the Union dead that they could find on the battlefield, whether they could be identified or not, and moved them to the new Cold Harbor National Cemetery. And these woods uh, have several examples like this, uh, oblong depressions that certainly have the look and the features of excavated soldier graves. This is too large to be a, a tree fall from a big, a big root or anything like that, so I'm pretty confident that at some point uh, this was the grave of one or two or a handful of Union soldiers who died here in Griffin's Woods defending the hilltop. The grave would have been excavated and the remains removed uh, 100, more than 150 years ago.